Gemini, hi, welcome to your read. We are going to be looking at your tarot for this week. These are YouTube general readings, so just realize they won't always resonate with you. If you like a... Um... Can you stop playing with the light, bro? My cat's over here playing. Excuse the noise. But if you like your own personal read from me, feel free to reach out to me via email. My email's in the description below. Send me the time zone you're in and I'll reply to you with all the information you need for a personal reading. Okay. Just that simple. Cut it out. He's got a bunch of toys, but he decides to play with the bag for my studio light. Here, play with your toy. <laughs> I can't focus. I don't know. All right, let's get started with your read here, Gemini. Your energy is a strength. Interesting. I think Aries got that card. Stars here. Very interesting. I, I feel like this is you trying to get seen by somebody here or, you know, it's the Leo card. It's fifth house. This is trying to get noticed here. But this is also, I'm because this is Leo and Virgo on the card. And I'm looking at this as, uh, this is getting seen, but as well as uh, before you get seen, there's some service you have to do. You, yeah, there's a whole lot of things you got to do here. Um, there was conflicts with somebody here that showed you a whole lot of emotion here. Like, they gave you a lot of love, emotion here. But there came some conflicts. Um, I just got in my head when I'm looking at the star card that it just wasn't meant to be. And that makes sense because, you know, after the tower, you have the star, right? So it's kind of like, I feel like it just wasn't meant to be and somebody moved on with their dreams here. Uh, it's on their side. Whatever this dream is of theirs, they moved on with that. And that's that. That's all they're pretty much showing me here. Um, for the current energies, Ace of Wands, Six of Cups, and the Three of Wands. A lot of nostalgia, a lot of thinking back. While you're turning your back to whatever this is, because it's completely over. Um, but there's a lot of nostalgia going on. And that's something that you can't prevent. It's like coming to you in the form of dreams. And you're still playing with the bag. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's gone okay um anything passionate coming your way any new beginning coming your way now i just feel like there's always that underlying six of cups stuff going on that nostalgia about whatever this was ended in the past um but I see you physically on the 3D turning yourself away from whatever this is in the past. Totally turning away from it. In the future energies, we have the Six of Wands upside down with the Nine of Swords and the King of Wands. Still trying to budge and move forward, but it seems like every little single new thing that comes along you're just not victorious in your love story here 
Um, you feel like you're damned when it comes to love and that things aren't connecting. And I'll be the first person to tell you, that, no, you're not. You're not. It's just not the timing, I feel. And then this week, you know, I think instead of focusing on how a relationship makes you feel, I think you need to focus on how you make yourself feel. Because a good relationship, healthy, fun one, it's not going to come along if you're always in this turmoil about the past or in the nostalgia of the past. And yeah, I see you moving on and you don't want that, but you're still clinging on to it because you think about it every day. It comes in your mind every day. You can't lie to me here because it's it's showing up right in the middle of your read with the Six of Cups here. And it's not a past person coming back. It's more of just this thought of the past person coming back, coming back, coming back. Or like if they come back. And that's kind of driving me insane here with what, that's, you know, I am I would go insane if I thought about something like that all the time here, Gemini. And I think you got a lot of reversals here in the future energy with this King of Wands reversed. Um, you may be in now running into people that are not really reliable. And is that because maybe you're not reliable with your own thinking and then that's kind of like pulling that type of energy your way? I, I don't know. And I'm not trying to say it's your fault, you know, like. But there has to be some sort of like. Uh, healing that goes here about the situation and, and that's going to take a lot of strength. And that was the main energy. This is the strength card. You know, you want healing, but you got to be strong while you're doing that. I don't know how you heal. I don't know like if you sit at home watching Netflix in your sweatpants and that's healing for you. But for me, it would go, you know, go to the gym and slam a punching bag with my gloves, <laughs> my fist, um, and just do that over and over until I get a good sweat and I'm really tired and I cook a meal for myself and Divine Masculines, you know, like, you know, if she left you, you know, try to activate that feminine mode because then that attracts something better than what left you there. And divine feminine, you know, try to activate that masculine, you know, get into the physical, you know, going out. and I don't know. Even service, right? Service is a good thing with this card because it's Leo moving into Virgo, sun moving into Virgo, so... I think I've explained this in another video, but the sun, when it leaves the fifth house, it leaves its home, Leo, it goes straight to war. It goes into the sixth house. Okay, so doing service for the divine feminine, masculine as well, doing service, that type of thing. I'm sorry if you wanted the golden answer here, uh, but then you're not getting it other than there needs to be some sort of reconfiguration with the way you think about nostalgia. And, you know, those are things you can't prevent, but eventually with time, the way I see this here, with time, with the Nine of Swords here, those thoughts go away. So, you know, don't stress it. That's another way to get rid of those thoughts is to actually invite them in when they show up, you know. Here's my past person. They did this, this, and this, and that, and I hate them for it. But if they come back, yeah, I love them for it. And that's, you know, um, invite those thoughts in. Say, yeah, come along. What, what's up? And then when you invite them in, you can invite them out now. You'd be like, okay, is that it? Out. And it's a good little exercise. So I know because that's how I would deal with things that I thought about when I went to the war, when I was in the military invite those thoughts in of what I saw and then I tell them okay it's time for you to go thank you I'll see you again tomorrow <sighs> sorry Gemini I wish your reading could be better there's three characters here page of cups upside down then page of wands and the knight of swords
interesting thing here, Mer yeah, Mercury, Gemini. And I just saw 11.11 on the clock, by the way. Um, there's three people here, significant people to you. One may have hurt you, two people just around in your circle here. Um, I believe there's two people here that might help you get out of this thinking, however it may be. They may be showing up as friends, or this is learning. Um, if you were just to look at this from an internal perspective, from the universal advice, is that use that Gemini energy from whatever this person hurt you. Uh, use that Gemini energy to do different things. Um, what I mean by that is Mercury, back in ancient astrology, um, they used to think Mercury was actually two planets. They would see it sunrise and then they'd see it sunset. It was two different planets, they would think, and it actually was one. So, you know, when you get, when you're thinking of that Gemini energy, use that beautiful Gemini energy. Try to, you know, change. Try to be two things you want to be, you know. Maybe one of them is a fitness pro, or I don't know, one's a yogi, or one's, you know, try to use that energy. I think that's what the universe is trying to say. Try to split up your energies into two different things. And it's funny because I did mention doing service, so, you know, maybe you do service during the day, help homeless out, I don't know. And then the next day, uh, you are at the nightclub, stunting. Um, interesting read. And I feel like when you split your personalities and you're doing two different things, that releases whatever this is, that thinking. So you had a very interesting psychological reading here. And I don't really dig psychology with tarot. It's not, my, well, I, I dig it. It's just not my thing. It's not my thing, but I guess we're headed that there. Okay, we're headed that way with you, Gemini. You get kind of like a little extended read here, don't you? Anyways, take it easy, and I'll see you guys again next week.